this in here. So let's continue with our molecular and empirical formula part 2. What are we going to talk about? In this case, we are finding out the relationship between both the formula and if we know one, how to find the other or if we know both the empirical and molecular formula mass, how do you find out each other? So here are some simple guidelines. Okay, number one, we need to find out the molar mass for the empirical formula. If you know that, we also need to find out the molecular mass for the entire molecule. And how do we get that? This is the empirical formula unit, or I call it as n, or as a factor. And we simply divide the molar mass for the molecule by molar mass for empirical formula. Or you can simply write its molar mass divided by empirical formula mass. So that's easier. And then after that, you will get a number which should be close to a whole number. If not, you are going to round that up. So maybe it's 5.9, you round it up to 6. And then you use this whole number to multiply the subscripts of empirical formula and you get the molecular formula. So let's do the first problem. All right, we have CH2O, that is the empirical formula. So immediately I can write down that your molecular formula is going to be CH2O times some number which is N. And my job, first job is to find out what that N stands for. Now the molecular mass for the compound is known to be 240 gram. Before we go there, let's find out what is the empirical formula mass. That's one carbon, two hydrogen, and one oxygen. So when we add all of that, all right, what do we end up getting? We end up getting 30.03 grams per mole as our empirical formula mass. And we, do, we know that N is simply the molar mass divided by empirical formula mass. So molar mass is 240 and your empirical formula mass is 30.03. So let's just simply divide that and let's see what happens. We end up getting oops, that close to 8 as the answer. So if 8 is the factor, you're going to multiply now that by 8. So 8 times your empirical formula CH2O will give you the answer C A H 16 and O 8. That is the molecular formula of the final compound. Alright, let's do one more. And this one looks tricky because we need to actually find out the empirical formula. It's not given to us. But what we know is the empirical formula contains two things. It's carbon and the second one. What is the second one going to be? It says it's hydrocarbon. A hydrocarbon contains carbon and hydrogen and we know the percentage for that so that's 92.3 percent and if it is 92.3 how much will be hydrogen that will be simply 100 minus 92.3 because total must be 100 well when we do that I got the answer 7.7 percent moving on percent to the mass so we get 92.3 grams and 7.7 .7 grams. Remember what we did after that? We did percent to the mass and mass to the moles. So for moles, we are going to divide that by the molar mass. And the molar mass for each of that we added and then we get the moles. So the moles which I got for carbon is 7.684. 
five, and for hydrogen it is seven point six eight six two. I'm sorry, six two four. So it's percent to the mass and mass to the moles. And next step is divide by the smallest. Out of this, smallest is seven point six two four. This will be one, and if you actually solve that, that gets one point zero zero eight, which you can round up to one. So in a way, we got the ratio one to one. So we don't have to do multiply, multiply till the whole number. We already got one and one as the ratio. So what's the empirical formula? It is C one and H one, or we can simply write down that. At CH, how do we find out the molecular formula? Well, there you go. That's given to you as the molecular mass. And using CH, you can find out empirical formula mass. That will be one carbon and one hydrogen. That is 30.02. So how do you get that N? N is molar mass, which is 78. Let's write down the formula. So that is 78 divided by 13.02. And when we simplify, we end up getting that as 5.99, or we can round that up to. Six. Well, when you get six as a number there, and how do we go from the empirical formula CH to molar formula? It is simply times that n or times six. So the molecular formula becomes C six and H six. There we go. We got the molecular formula of the compound. So did you all understand that? So remember again our. Main theme: How to find out from percent to the empirical formula? It's always percent to the mass and mass to the moles, and then divide by the smallest, and then last step is multiply, multiply, multiply till the I hope you guys are having fun learning molar mass and empirical mass.